Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel, I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So in this video, I'm going to explain you about the creation of ledger account, alteration of ledger account and deleting a ledger account. So these three topics I'm going to cover because very frequently in examination, a question will be asked regarding the creation, altering and deleting of a ledger account. So apart from this, I have already so many videos uploaded, so many videos on computerized accounting subject. If you have not watched the earlier videos, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject computerized accounting. Watch the initial videos, get a good command on the subject of computerized accounting. So before start explaining this topic, I expect my viewers to have a screenshot of this theory which I have written on the board so that you can be able to remember, you can jot down the points and can be able to get a good command with confidence you can write in examination. So take a screenshot, then I'll explain about the creation, altering and deleting of ledger account. Come on. Now I'll start explaining about the topic of how would you create, alter and delete a ledger in tally. So creating, there are two types of ledgers called single ledger and multiple ledger. First I'll explain you about the creation of ledger in single ledger mode, then multiple. So creating a single ledger, ledger creation is based on the selection of features under F11 and F12. That means how to create a ledger account depend on the selection of uh, the features of the company and configuration of company given in F11 and F12. So F11 is the features of the company and F12 is the configuration of the company. So these two, the creation of ledger account depend on the selection of this F1 and F F11 and F12. By default, there exist two ledger accounts in ERP9 such as cash in hand and profit and loss account. So by default, these two accounts are existing that is cash account and profit and loss account. The user is supposed to create all remaining accounts. So remaining accounts, the user has to create according to his requirement. There is no limitation of creating ledger account. Any number of ledger accounts the user can create. There is no limitation. Cash account can be created as many as the users require. Similarly, the single ledgers can be created under normal mode as well as advanced mode. So in both the modes, I'll explain you how to create a ledger account. Now, creation of single ledger in normal mode. First, we'll discuss about normal mode. The steps involved in creation of single ledger are Step 1. From the gateway of tally, select account info. First of all, you have to open the gateway of tally. So gateway to tally, then select account info. From this, click on the ledger. When you click account info, you will get the list options. From that options, select the ledger and select select single ledger. From this single ledger, select create option. So first, go to the gateway to tally. From gateway to tally, select the account info. From select, click the account info, you will get ledger select single ledger select create then after this the screen will come the screen requires the following fields the fields required on this screen are first it will ask you the name of the account to be created so enter the full name of the account then press enter to go to the next field so after giving the name of the account press enter to go to the next field the next field you will get is alias but this field is optional. So enter alias now name number if necessary so that the user can access the ledger by using the original name or alias name. Original name or alias name. By using alias name easily the user can be able to enter into the account. But this alias is optional. Then under the next field on the screen will be under. Each and every account should be categorized under their appropriate groups. So every account should be under a particular group. So here in this under, <clears throat> you have to select the group in which you want to open the account. Select the group from the list of groups under which ledger is to be created. 
so after this under opening balance but opening balance is required only before starting up this company if any balance is there in the account if already existing balance is there in the account before starting this ERP tally ERP 9 so that is the opening balance if there is any opening balance take the opening balance if user is having an already existing company books of which are entered into tally ERP 9 that opening balance will be applicable in that situation not every situation if already existing account is there in which balance is there then you have to take the opening balance now creation of single ledger in advanced mode so so far we have discussed in normal mode how to create a ledger now I'm explaining about creating a ledger in advanced mode so what is this advanced mode the ledger creation screen is having some extra fields based on the setting done in the feature of the company so if you want some detailed information in the account you have to select advanced mode if you don't want you can continue with the normal mode so extra field more information if you require then only go for advanced mode for going for creating the account in advanced mode first of all you have to go to the features of the company f11 or configuration f12 there in that configuration of the company you have to select advanced mode you click advanced mode yes then only you are eligible to create the account in advanced mode so if the user set the field also advanced tech entries in f12 configuration as yes then the user can work in advanced mode only if you select yes for advanced mode in configuration f12 then only he can be able to open create the account in advanced mode what are the extra fields they will get the extra field in the account the uh, will be allow multi currency multiple currency can be allowed maintain bill wise detail maintain cost center then lastly activate interest calculation these are the extra fields in every account if the account is opened in advanced mode that's all now creation of multiple ledger so far we have seen the creation in single ledger we have seen how to create a ledger in single ledger now in multiple ledger creation of an account in multiple ledger the multiple ledger can be created by the user at a time in advanced mode because of this the user can save his time so instead of individually opening the account separately he can open multiple accounts in a group in this way he can be able to save the time but in order to open multiple ledgers first of all in f12 the mode should be advanced mode if it is in advanced mode then only multiple ledgers can be opened creation steps to create multiple ledgers first go to gateway of tally select account info the first step you have to go to the gateway to tally and select account info from account info select the ledgers under the ledgers select multiple ledgers multiple ledgers if you press multiple ledgers then select creation create option select the create option after this the fields required on the screen are so if you follow these three steps after the three steps a screen will require you some fields to be filled up the fields are under group the name of the group should be selected under which the user want to create the ledger from the list of groups so first of all the user has to find out so our accounts should be created under which group he has to select the group then only after selecting the group he can be able to create the account below this field the other fields are arranged as follows so when he has selected the group then he has the fields the next field requires serial number serial number will be generated automatically nothing should be done automatically serial number will be generated by the package name of the ledger enter the name of the ledger account so when it is asking you the name give the name of the ledger account third under if the user is selecting all items under group field they will have an option to select the group in this column itself the user can also create a new group from this field by pressing alt plus c if a new group is required then the user can press alt c to create a new group for this 
account. Then opening balance. As usual, if opening balance is there, then only we can be able to open, uh, enter the amount. If already existing account is there in which some opening balance is there, then only opening balance will arise. If there is no opening balance, just to leave it blank. So opening balance, the balance seen in tally ERP when the books are entered for the first time, which means beginning date of books. Beginning date of books, if the opening balance is there, then only it will come. Otherwise, if there is no beginning balance, no opening balance will come. Debit or credit. As tally ERP9 is followed, uh, following the normal accounting principle, the user must satisfy the opening balance as debit or credit. Because ERP9 is following the basic principles of accounting. So the user must give the amount in debit or credit. Opening balance. Some accounts may show debit balance. Some accounts may show credit balance. So accordingly, he has to write the amount in debit column or credit column. That's all. So these are the steps required for creating a ledger account either in single ledger or in multiple ledger in the normal mode as well as in the advanced mode. So now the next topic is alteration of ledger. First creation of ledger I have explained now alteration of ledger. So we can make alteration in a ledger account. So what are the steps of altering the data? By choosing option of alter from menu, the user can display any ledger account on the screen. So on the menu, on gateway to tally, on the menu you can get the option of alter. By pressing alter, we can be able to display the account and also we can be able to alter. So the user is also having an option by, of selecting any particular ledger account from the list shown in the screen. The user is pro provided with the format of an account to make any changes in the information. So the, on the screen, the complete account will be displayed. Now on that account, the user can be able to make any alterations in the account. The user can change name of any existing group, but the features of that remain constant. Name of the group may be changed, but the features of the group will remain constant. Steps to alter. What are the steps to alter the ledger account? Step 1. Double click tally ERP 9. When you double click tally ERP 9, the gateway to tally will open. Select the company and gateway of tally menu is displayed. Then choose account info option. After entering into the gateway to tally, choose the account info option. Then select ledger from the account info menu. From the account info menu, select the ledger. Then fifth step, choose alter in the single ledger. Next step, choose alter in the single ledger. Then step six, list of ledger accounts will be displayed. All the list of the ledger accounts will be displayed. Now select the ledger account which requires alteration. Now you have to select which ledger account we have to, we want to make the alteration. Select that ledger account, the account will be opened. Now you can be able to make the alterations. So in this way, I have explained you about how to create the ledger and how to alter the ledger. How? So we have discussed about how to create a ledger and how to alter a ledger. Now I am going to discuss the last topic that is deleting a ledger. So what is the procedure of deleting a ledger account? So a ledger can be deleted by pressing Alt plus D in the ledger alteration screen. So first of all, you have to go to the ledger alter screen. There, after selecting the particular ledger, you have to press Alt D. Then the account will be deleted. Confirmation would be asked prior to deletion of any record in the form of yes or no. So when you press Alt D, then definitely a confirmation message you will get on the screen. Whether do you want to delete yes or no. If you are sure, if you are 100% sure that I want to delete this account, then you have to press yes. So if you are sure of deleting, then click yes. If the ledger is transacted in any voucher, then the message will not appear and the ledger account cannot be deleted. So next is steps to delete. Steps of ledger deletion are as follows. The first of all, double click. The first step is double click on tally and select the company. 
select the company then from the gateway of tally select the account info from the account info select the ledger single ledger under the single ledger then select a ledger from the list of ledgers a list of ledgers will be displayed from that list of ledgers select the ledger which you want to delete then press alt d to delete the ledger after selecting the ledger press alt d to delete that ledger this is the these are the steps to be followed if the user wants to delete a ledger account that's it so in this video i have explained you about the creation of a ledger in the single ledger mode and multiple ledger in the normal mode as well as advanced mode i have explained and apart from that how to alter how to alter a ledger account that i have shown explained here and the last topic is how to delete a ledger account that's all so this question will also be frequently asked in examination so watch this video till the end definitely you will get the good command inshallah the next topic on this computerized accounting will take up in the next session